a crazy story that I first saw on YouTube, but now it's taking over Twitter. So you have this graduation, everyone's excited. This principal, however, is not because she accidentally dismisses everyone early before the valedictorian can give his speech. And so as she's telling families to come back, because you know they're leaving, she's telling them to come back, come back. No one's hearing her, no one pays attention, and she just goes ham. She loses it on she these goes people. Ham? Yeah. <laughs> Let me scream. Hard you. as a. Okay. She goes crazy, but yeah, there's actually goes video. There... <laughs> she there's goes ham? Video. I... Uh, of course, because everybody like... has their phones out. So they captured it on video. We have the video. Take a look. Watch. Oh, we have it. Mm -hmm. Right? That means don't 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 argue with a crazy person. You people are being so rude to not listen to this speech. It was my fault that we missed it in the program. Look who's leaving all the black people. Whoa. 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 Yeah. And then, and then, uh, my understanding is she then says that the devil is what made her do right, that. Right. So now they're calling her, her the racist her, her, principal, oh, no. and she said basically the devil made me do it. She went real old school. The devil made me do it. Wow. That is old school. And you know what, Dr. Drew? I actually agree. It had to be a whole lot of devil in this woman to think she could get in this room full of black people and say, "Oh, look, all the black people are leaving." Like that's what, just what, crazy. I couldn't tell. What does she have a racial, any particular color, or anything herself, or is she, she a white, was white white person? And yeah. she, it's so bizarre. She was in a it's room so full of black people. She I, was I, uh, 1800 old school, like back when <laughs> even possession, you yeah, know? Yeah, right, okay. What? Let's do an exorcism on her. Let's yeah. see if people could have fun doing that. All right, listen, we might get into that story again. I might bring that one back why, why, why blame the poor devil? I mean, think, <laughs> no, you got a point. What we know about Satan is that, at the very least, he doesn't discriminate. He, yeah. like, he, he yeah. certainly isn't a racist. No, you know? you're right. The Satan would not be a reasonable explanation for this. This is something far more human. Mike, what do you got? I, this is Nudnik in the UK. <laughs> what a moron. All right, this guy. He broke up with his, uh, his partner. He, he's, he's a gay guy, and he, broke, he had a long-term relationship, and they broke up. They were living together. And he said that his ex-partner uh, used to wear the same underwear three, four days in a row and grossed him out so much that now he's addicted to buying new underwear. The guy's a restaurant. He works in, in the restaurant industry. He damn near went bankrupt from buying new underwear every day, like five, six, seven thousand dollars What? Yeah, what a nudnik. So, so... Nudnik? Pam and nudnik. I'm taking it back to the 1800s as well. So... <laughs> I'm not, Israel, though. Oh, yeah. I'm not America. But, but uh, I, I wonder if he's manic. I'm trying to understand the yeah. behavior. I mean, or, you don't get addicted to buying underwear. Uh, you know what I mean? I, well, and, he, and that's what he says, and he says it with kind of a laugh. But, I mean, shopping addiction's a real thing, right, Judy? Right? Yeah. And sometimes yeah, it's it part is. of mania, I, which is what Dr. Drew was kind of getting at. Is it possible that there's something there? Because it doesn't make any sense. I mean, why is he hoarding just the underwear and to this extent? I almost wonder if he's got, like, well, a, a medical problem or something. Something really has gone haywire. Oh, yeah. Victoria's Secret used to have a sale fire for 25 and I used to be addicted to it. Okay. I was in college. Okay, right. you were taking did. pictures every day? And... <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough. All right, Judy, your turn. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to follow those up, but <laughs> you're going to be very happy about this one. There is a police chief in Massachusetts. He posted something on Facebook. It's been shared 30,000 times about uh -oh. how he does not want to put drug addicts in jail. In fact, he wants to treat them. No, what's wrong? Why would I not like that? No, I said you were going to really like oh, it. Oh, okay. I, okay. I think you're going to really like okay. it. And yeah, so you're like, uh oh, but no, everything's great because he says that a drug addict should not be treated differently from somebody who gets lung cancer. Oh, they absolutely. should get treatment. Absolutely. So this is really cool. If you walk into the, everybody, if you're in Massachusetts, if you want to walk in with your drug paraphernalia, they're not going to put you in jail. They're going to give you treatment and they're going to pay for it using the money they get from drug raids. Oh my God, that is a great, <laughs> uh, hats off to, to that uh, police department. I've got someone in the audience, though, that often disagrees with me. Deneen Manette, wonderful Dean Manette. She is in our audience. She's a criminal investigator. She's an author of a new book, Messages for Joey, A Few Things I Need You to Know about life, friendship, money, love, self. Deneen, you agree with me on this one? Are you going to fight me on it? No, I love this.
this. As soon as I read about it, I said, this is perfect. I mean, we have the whole gun buyback program where you can, with it's, this has a dual purpose, though. You can bring in your stuff, and you can also get help. I think it's absolutely important. And also... You don't want to be us be wasting money and time on treating no, drug no, addicts No, 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 this jail. is not wasting money and time. No, 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 people, what I'm saying is you don't want to see these people in the prison system later. What is that going right, to cause? Right, waste because, a ton of money, a ton of time, and do nothing for them. Exactly, because the drug addict today is the person that's going to go knock you over the head and steal your purse tomorrow. Yeah. So if we can kind of nip this in the bud, we have the safe surrender for the babies. We have, like I said, the gun buyback program. Let's do something proactive, forward-thinking. I love it.